thank god for yet another day to spend time with him another day to commune with him i want us to take a short exercise and that is i want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad i want you to help us share this good news and that youtube will also recommend this channel this video to others and they will also be a blessing also let's take a short reading from job chapter 38 verses 12 Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days and then caused the day spring to know its place now this tells us of the great opportunities of the great blessings we enjoy as children of god when we speak into our day and so it is what we are about to do open your heart be alert prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of god apostle joshua selman also if you are new here hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell keep sharing this message abroad keep sharing on facebook keep sharing on youtube to invite others to join us as we bless the world you are a blessing thank you thank you sir are we together the first day I saw your daughter, sir, Efe Nathan. I remember the first day she ministered, I looked at her, I said, ah, this lady is not just a worshiper, she's a prophetic worshiper. She truly has a grace that sets the atmosphere. It's true. The first day I met with Minister Dunsin, I told him, and we continue to talk about it all the time. I said, this man, what God will do with this man in the nations, and I'm saying it even again and to the open, the grace, it is his personal competence and sacrifice, but he's an extension of an ancient altar. Believe what I'm telling you, this man you see, is not just a song, he's continuing something ancient. The national anthem of Nigeria says the labor of our heroes past. It's not just heroes that fought physical war. There are spiritual heroes past. And some of us you see are extensions of what is happening. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your There are graces that when you carry, God will not allow you marry from certain places. It's not whether it is good or bad. Ah, this is what your prophets used to do. They will look and tell you, no, I don't know why. The person is not wrong, but this combination is wrong. Now, it is not on all cases. There are people because of the prophecy on their life. Don't get me wrong. I hope you understand what I'm saying. It is true. It does not happen in all cases, but believe me, there are certain graces. There are times that God will connect you to a man and a woman and you look physically and there's no reason why you should be married. And God says, just do what I'm asking you to do. I am joining altars more than men. And two of you will bring a hybrid combination. The children that will come out from that altar will introduce a new anointing to the body. Do you remember in scripture when this guy was laboring to pay dowry on his wife, a ghost suddenly appears, her stomach starts protruding, say no, I've gone through a lot of trouble with you. Madam, my name is Joseph. You can go and look for whoever got you pregnant. I'm tired. Your stomach is protruding. Who did you sleep with? Say, nobody. A, a, a spirit came to me and told me I'm highly favored. What is why didn't the spirit appear to say, okay, be patient as a husband. Just let me just use your wife to give birth to me, the Messiah. And hear me, while all that discussion was happening, Joseph wanted to, is in your Bible, to leave her. And an angel appeared and said, Mr. Man, don't, you don't know what you are doing. There is a mystery. Just be patient. Let them give birth to Jesus. You can have your children. But be that father. You are about to be introduced into a history that you do not know.
Do you believe what I'm sharing? And so there are times that you will have every reason. Every reason. In fact, there are some graces when you carry, you cannot relocate to certain regions. The graces and the nature of the operation of that graces require you are domiciled within certain regions. So we will carry those graces. God will, he will not tell you this is why because God knows we are stubborn. So he will look for an attractive excuse to take you to that place. Do you realize that one time Jesus wanted to pray for a blind person? He took him out of one city into another before praying for him. Jesus. I'm at liberty to share these things because this is a prophetic church. Your man of God is a prophet. You understand? I will not share this thing in every cycle because sometimes people will think we are just talking a lot of nonsense. But believe me, if you call what I'm saying nonsense, I wish you good luck. In this wicked world, this cruel world that ignorance is, you pay with your lifetime. This is the mystery behind the results of people. Now, nobody will be honest enough to open up like this and tell you that behind the results you see there are mysteries. You just see people rising and here's what we say, you are lucky. I'm demystifying that mystery called luck that there are altars, there are support systems that lift people. That's why they don't share what people do because they know what is back in them. Hallelujah. Open eyes that you can see. Open eyes for your finances. Open eyes for everything around your life. I want you to be tired of the realm you are now. I want you to be tired of struggling. Tired of having to meet people to lobby your way in. And out. No, 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 no. There are superior systems. Hallelujah. This is one of my dear people. He's a military officer. One time they sent him to Maiduguri where they were fighting with Boko Haram. And they almost killed this my dear son for me. I said, Lord, I thank you for the military people who are fighting. But please, I ask you, take this my son out of that place. We still need him for a long time. And that's why they carried him. I think he's in Lagos now. So. And he still comes to serve in the media every time. This is a military man. Because even though even though he's fighting he knows the altar and the grace that supports him listen believers let's be wise the days are evil the days are evil let us sustain spiritual intelligence no music artist in nigeria rises sustainably without being connected to a solid altar it is true Otherwise, a day will come, songs will not come again. A territory will squeeze you like an orange for over six months, inviting you every day to every meeting. After six or seven months, they will spit you out, and that's the end of your career. But there are people who remain ever fresh. The secret, I tell you, you look at them, it's not necessarily their skill or prowess alone. They are tied to something that is ancient. You don't find the root on earth. You only find the body. The root is in the realm of the spirit. It does not die. Is God speaking to us? We are going to pray. I know that our time is gone. But we will pray. Before I begin to minister. Ah, this morning God will surprise you all. That... That you left your house and came here? No. 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 He never calls the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. And let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. If the next two minutes you open your heart, you will be surprised what God will do in your life. Men are made in the night, not in the day. The day is for manifestation. The night is for making. According to God's protocol, is the evening and the morning. The morning does not start a day. If your day starts in the morning, it's already too late. Both conception and delivery happens in the morning. In the night. 
listen while you are seated i like you to be i'm provoking you be tired of where you are and say lord i thank you you have blessed me but this is not it this is not it for my children this is not it for my destiny i thought things would change in 2016 i thought things would change in 2017 but lord this year of open doors maybe someone should jump up on his feet and begin to walk around this auditorium prophetically walk around this auditorium it's time for me to move in the name of jesus christ please wear the instrumental it's just help someone is walking around and prophesying don't just walk around looking. Please prophesy. I refuse to be in the same position. I refuse to be in the same position. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Shalika baranda salatasiaka. Brakatakata barakato sadebalakas. Someone is praying in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please do me a favor if you can. If there is no space, that's all right. But please pair yourselves into three. We are going to pray. The Bible says a threefold cord. We want to invoke mysteries in this place and pray. Please pair yourselves into three. If there is no space, just do two, two. Pair yourselves into three. Let's pray so that things will shift and change in our lives. Listen. In the next five to ten minutes, you are going to hold the hands of these people while you pray. This is going to be the prayer. Lord, every grace and covenant that is hidden on the person that I'm holding, I draw that grace through honor. Lift your voice and pray someone. You may be holding your brother, but pray. Parakato shalakata. Outside, are you praying? Shkaparakata. Embre kete kete ke parakato. Lakata prakata zikete. Repo shamata pambarakato. Lakata pambarakata. Embre kete ke paruto shodoka. and hold another person's hand. Change and hold somebody's hand. Don't, don't we lay the man of God, please. Make sure. Are you ready? You are still going to pray the same prayer. Please, these are prophetic instructions. I tell you, you are not wasting your time. Believe me. A threefold cord that cannot be easily broken. You are going to lift your voice again. Lord, what have you planted in this man? 
What have you planted in this woman? What altar of the spirit sponsors their possibility? I draw it to honor. Lift your voice and on your eyes and you are going to say the door of my eyes you are also the door of my destiny in the name of Jesus be open let me see lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and pray be open see opportunities be open be open be open see relationship be open in the name of Jesus be open in the name of Jesus be open be open be open be open. Let me see my helper. Be open. Let me see the business idea. The door of my eyes. Be open. The door of my eyes. Be open. Rapa, 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 rapa
Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Then we'll begin to minister. The head of a man is the symbol of your glory. It is true. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn and I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Please listen to me. It is true that what is on your head determines what is on your cup. You are going to lay your hands on your head and cast away every negative atmosphere and every programming whether it is of ancestry whether it is of bloodline have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation and I decree and declare may my head be lifted up he said listen to me he says thou O Lord art a shield for me Psalm 3 my glory he says the lifter up of my head you are going to prophesy my head my destiny rise up rise up from the ashes rise up from the grave someone is praying someone is one more prayer point in John 11 when it was time to bring Lazarus out of the grave he said roll away the stone when it was time for Jesus to come out of the grave the angel came and rolled away the stone you are going to roll away every stone listen there are people the truth is you are standing physically but spiritually there is a door that has closed your destiny you are going to pray. Listen, pray like a prophet. Pray like a priest. That in the name of Jesus, that every stone that covers my glory, my family, our name, our relevance, we roll you away by the Spirit of God. It's time for Lazarus to come forth. Someone is praying. Pray for your family. Pray for your relatives. Roll away the stone. Roll away the stone of limitation. Roll away the stone of introversion. Roll away the stone that shuts your relevance, that shuts your voice. <laughs> Roll away that stone of shame, of reproach. Roll away that stone of limitation. It's time for me to come out. It's time for my destiny to be announced. It's my season of appearing. Roll away that stone. Roll away the name of Jesus. 
I tell you, things are shifting in this place. Yes. Yes. Can I give you one more prayer point? Father, everything tying me down. He said, lose that man and let him go. The stone can be rolled away, but your past is still holding you. The stone can be rolled away, but yesterday is still holding you. Refusing that you will not enter tomorrow. Everything in my yesterday that is refusing me from entering tomorrow, whether it is your past, whether it is your failures, let me know. I cut away from you. Lift your voice and pray. That is already morning. We just have a few more minutes and the vigil is over. But listen, listen to me. There are times in a man's destiny that you must be very serious with your life and insist. You know, the challenge with many believers is we are not yet serious enough. One thing I know with the devil is he respects seriousness. Take it from me. When there is a level of fire and seriousness you apply to your destiny, he said, resist the devil and he will flee. Not he may flee. If he's not fleeing, the resistance is not strong enough. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Did you bring your prayer request? Okay. Please return back to your seat. If you've not written your prayer request, we'll give you five minutes. Please write it because I'm about to minister now. Inside, outside, those following online from whatever nation, you can write and send your request. Please do it very quickly. We're about to pray. Everything you are tired of seeing that must let you go. Please write it down. Nobody's reading it. Right here it will be prayed for and then it will be burnt away. So... You don't have to be afraid that people will read your request. You don't have to write your name. You just write what it is. Some of you may need to call your loved ones and say, what, what are we tired of in this family? That must go. I'm convinced that a vigil without prayer is a waste of time. A vigil that you did not pray prophetically and strategically is a total waste of time the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word remains the principal tools for healing for deliverance for breakthrough this is a very deep and profound mystery what we are doing and is biblical once upon a time three kings came together to threaten the people of god and they submitted the request on the altar
go ahead write your request the Bible says to be anxious for nothing he says he says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving he says make your request known don't assume it is known make your request known Please write it down and in case your faith did not allow you to write some things write it again no. because sometimes we can be used to pain and long-standing issues that we're even afraid to write them because we say can God make a way in the wilderness will go around you're just going to pass it they'll bring it before the altar here you can pass it to the last person maybe the person on the aisle can we do it that way maybe to make it easy or ushers just go around maybe just find a way of organizing yourself please make sure everyone's request is here just you can just submit it we are here for you come and do us we are here for you to come and do what you do. Set our hearts, set our hearts. Submit it to the ushers moving round. There are ushers moving. I don't know if there are ushers up there. If they are here to collect yours, you can just wave yours and somebody will. Please, there are people waving there. Let's, let's have their clothes.
touched His grace, your life is changed. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace, your life is changed. Hallelujah. Now, while you are dropping this, I'd like you to begin to pray where you are seated and declare that, Lord, these Egyptians that I see today, I will see them no more forever. Somebody is praying. Don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time. These Egyptians that I see today, I see them no more forever. Do we have all the requests? Shalanda baska barusa siya agreement with the altar of your father Pastor Amos Fairwa just do just it here you'll pack it back So yes. someone's life is about to change a new season is about to open for someone in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please make sure we have everything here Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Someone help mama. She's trying to come with her request. Please somebody collect it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I will not trouble our father, but I will just stand praying so that his, his, his grace is here speaking but while you are there please stretch your hands here with faith believing and I want you to begin to blast in tongues while you are standing I'm going to go on my knees and cry to the God of heaven Will you open up the gates Open up the door Will you open up the gates Open up the door Stretch your hands and pray. <laughs> 
woman, please. There is power in the name of Jesus. 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 Break it to break it. I'm still praying. The Lord wants to break people free from covenants and yokes of darkness. At the count of three, you are going to shout that name, Jesus. There is a strong fire from this altar that will fall upon your life. Are you ready now? Please bring those people. In the name of Jesus, anyone's destiny here that has been tied by the orchestrations of witchcraft, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, as you shout, may that yoke be broken. You will shout Jesus at the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus! Break now! Break now! Break now! Break now! Break now! Break now! I bring you deliverance. I bring you healing by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release their destiny. Release their lives. Release their destiny. Hallelujah. I give the chains for the Who is Stella? Stella. Stella. You are wearing green. Stella. Who is that? Is there a woman called Stella? What's your name, ma? You are a member of this church? I want to pray for you because your life is about to change completely. What I see God doing will surprise you, ma. Can I pray for you? Jonathan Jonathan I'm hearing a name Jonathan Jonathan you are wearing a white like a white cloth Jonathan who is that is there somebody like that break every chain break every chain break every chain what's your name please verify that they are not just coming out please don't just your name is Jonathan sir your name is Jonathan it's alright I will pray with you Whose mother is in the teaching hospital? There's someone your, your your mother also is in the teaching hospital. Sick. I don't know who that person is, but please come. I want to pray. When you find that person, I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Kemi, who is that? K E M I Kemi. That's that's somebody's name. Please who is that? Quickly. Ma, I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I truly see a very serious breakthrough. Why, why are they coming? Look at what is happening to this woman. Look at this. Look at this. Look what is happening to this woman. I'm seeing something being loose from her. Leave her now. Look at look at a miracle happening right in your presence. My God. My dear, look at me. Shout Jesus. This girl. Tap her. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Lift your hands. I declare that the reproach on your life and your family, let it come to an end now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, 
I command that you go out of her life now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her life. See, let me tell you. Please don't think we are wasting our time here. God is rearranging destinies. My dear, the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you. Remember not the former things. This this young lady. Nor consider the things of old. Come. The Lord is asking me to lay my hands on you. That things will turn around in your life in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus. Let this happen even by the Spirit. An end comes to oppression in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Susan. 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 I'm hearing the name Susan. Who is Susan? You are Susan. Who is Susan? Mama, you are Susan. From where? From where are you? Is, I married us, is this mic working? Huh? I married to a kitty, but I'm from Delta. I want to pray for you. Can I rebuke the spirit of death over your family? The power of God is going to come on someone now. The Lord is averting death from your family. It's, listen, no, no, no. It's a specific person. I want to bring the person out right now. A strong anointing is going to fall on someone. Please bring the person. That spirit of death. I just saw like a dark shadow. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I decree and declare that everyone and every family are pointed unto death by the spirit of the living God it is averted now when the power of God comes on that person please pick the person and bring them out the anointing of the spirit that man near the door that man wearing red tell him to lift his hands that gentleman standing near the door tap him and tell him to lift his hand no the one wearing red tell him to lift his hands in the name of Jesus I command the spirit of death out of his life and out of his family now in the name of Jesus Christ Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands to you. And I pray. The grave is a spirit. It can call people. You can hear it like someone is calling you. But it is the grave. I command in the name of Jesus. May your ears be shot towards the voice of the grave. In the name of Jesus. For you and for your children. And I declare you are free now. And you are free forever. Please don't be embarrassed. There is the Lord is showing me a woman here. I know that generally there will be a lot of people, but there is a woman here. This is up to four, five, six, like six years. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Who is that person? I'm, I'm seeing up to one, two, three, four, five, six. Please come. Your time has come. Who is that? Haribiti Arabata Any last hope is you Haribiti Please stand up Stand up Don't. Please stand up Let me know I know some of you just came out It's not what I said but you still came out But God, God will still touch you I know some of you I hope you are all married Praise God. We have to be careful in the house of God over the things we pray for. Praise the Lord. Where is your husband? Please help us with the mic. Media, can, can you help us so that the mic works? My husband is at home. Where? Where is home? Maryland. 
Maryland, yes. you are in Lagos here. Yes. Do you believe that if we pray for you, yes. you will have a child? Yes. You will come and stand in this altar yes. and testify. Yes. Kai, the wonder working power of God is a marvel. The power of God is going to come on one of you. One of you here, right now. Now, out of her. Barrenness is a spirit it can hear. Out now. Release their destiny. Release their fruitfulness. It's over. Go and return with your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to you and I prophesy according to the time of life. I don't care what the situation is. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Standing on this altar of Pastor Amos Fenwa as the prophet of God. I decree and declare you will return with your child. In the name of Jesus. My dear, is your husband here? Because the Lord is telling me he's here. Where is he? Please help us. Are the mics working? Call him. Where is he? Husband. Where? Let's save time. Our time is... is... Do you... Call his name so that he will hurry up. Shola Fawe. Shola, are you here, sir? No. Okay, someone has gone to call him. There is a reason why I'm asking him to come. I hope you're not embarrassed. A few minutes and, and we'll be done. What's your name? Susan, I want to pray for you. Where are you from? What do you have to do with Anambra State? My father is from there. Your father is from Anambra State. I want to pray for you. That every altar that stands to destroy your destiny, in the name of Jesus, I curse that altar now. Out! Now! <laughs> Sir, how long have you been trusting God for the foot of the womb? Huh? Yes. About six years. Do you believe the end has come? Yeah. Hold my hands. My friend, look at me. You believe in miracles? Huh? Yes, Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, it's over. I needed to pray for him first. Now, I see what is happening. I prayed for him and the miracle happened to the wife. You see, the eyes to see, you must trust God for grace. That simple instruction. Look at this. This is to tell you that when people marry, two really become one. Because I wanted to pray for her and the Lord said, no, this is the man you will pray for. And then this will, please go, you will return with your testimony. I can't even remember why you are, Kemi, all of you, why are you here? You know, sometimes this thing, okay. Do you do business? Huh? What do you do? I sell clothes and I run a training outfit. Ah! Madam, this is your year. You are going to make a lot of money. Amen. Is it your mother? <laughs> I spoke about business and you ran out. Ah, you do business too. What do you do? Huh? Kitchen utensils. Kitchen? Kitchen utensils? Ah, okay. I will pray with you too. But... Madam, can I pray with you? Don't forget God oh, as he lifts you because what I see happening to you, it will surprise you. June, July, August, there are strange months of breakthrough for you. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, it's over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. These are your children. Come. Who is this one? This fella, my first one. Your first one. Where is she? Uh, at the road. Pray for how? Huh? I will speak in parables. The Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity. Please pray for her. I am convinced that if you are born again and your association is not born again, you are not born again sorry but this, this is how you have to be born again enough to affect your association praise the lord 
so we have to be very careful so that sometimes we don't get ourselves mixed up into a lot of this nonsense that destroy God's people oh madam I pray for you may doors be open for you now in the name of Jesus and for all of you here who are standing I want to pray for you August is your month of wedding who is that August come because I'm seeing something that can will create serious trouble I must pray for you. I'm not saying if you want to marry August to please understand what I'm saying what I'm seeing too many people no I'm not saying if you want to marry well are you married huh August no I'm talking I'm sorry maybe I didn't communicate it well I meant you have fixed your wedding date and it is for August because some of the people I'm seeing here you should not be is there someone like that this is what I'm seeing please if there's someone like that I want to pray for that person now you your wedding when August it's been fixed is your pastor aware Oh, you just agreed. Ah. I respect protocol oh, so that I don't come and bless. Make sure you meet. I will pray for you, eh, but this is, this is the, 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 the relevant committee who will work on it. What, what's, what's happened to Mama? By August. That's right. They are getting married. Yeah. This is the wife and this is the husband. This is the wife, this is the husband. Which one is your child, Mama? Uh, my son, I mean... Okay. In the name of Jesus, we pray. There will be no accident. Mama, what happened to you? What happened to you? I I I went to Beria 2018. You are a member of this church, Mama? My son is a member. Okay. Okay. You went for Beria. And from. Your leg just paralyzed. I fall sick seriously. I'm the one that come out just now. Come and give the money that I nearly died. Sir. Okay, she shared the testimony. Since you are already out, let me pray for you, Mama. No, don't worry. I will just pray for you. Eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Mama. Let the power of God heal you from this arthritis. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the anointing of the Holy Ghost completely set you free. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I pray for every one of you. For whatever reason, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. You will return with strange testimonies. My sister, look at me. This lady, lift your hands. I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm not seeing a face. Stand up. I'm seeing a body, but I'm not seeing a face. I must rebuke bad luck from your life. Can I pray for you? I hope you're not embarrassed. Hold my hands. Where are you coming from? In the name of Jesus, let this be over in your life. Now, in Jesus' name. This fair lady, you, that come, it's time for God to turn your family around. Please come. I bless all of you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is not of God, let it give way. God bless you. Please, you can return back to your seat. I prayed for you. Have I prayed for you, man? In Jesus' name, I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from, my dear? Huh? Jonathan. Where are you from, sir? In the name of Jesus, I release you and I open up doors for you. In the name of Jesus, I open up doors for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name. Where are you from, my dear? I'm coming from the community, but I'm from another state. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord restore the blessings of your family. Everything that represents shame and reproach, I come against it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for the sick? My God, our time is already gone. Let me use a few minutes to pray for the sick. If you are trusting God for healing any part of your body, um, you don't have to come out. Just, we may not have all that time. Where you are, just where you are. Don't worry. Right where you are, just lay your hands there. There are so many people trusting God, so we may not. She's already out. I'll pray with you, but in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost. God bless you. Now, I want to pray for the sick, please. Believe in miracles. I want to, to lay your hands where you are trusting God for. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just touch your chest. And I will pray for you right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please say Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now I decree and declare. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. That every spirit responsible for every kind of infirmity in your body. I cast that spirit out in the name of Jesus. Right now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Be healed right now. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. From the crown of your head, even to the soles of your feet. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every lump in the breast area or any part of your body, I command it to disappear now. The power of God is touching people. Migraine headache, be healed now. Peptic ulcer, be healed now. Heart palpitations, be healed now. Every challenge with your bones, in the name of Jesus, I correct it now. Pile, no matter how long, be healed now in the name of Jesus. There's someone you have severe pain around your molars, your teeth. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching that person right now. Touching that person right now. We're going to take a few testimonies here. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone you have excruciating stomach pain. You've not been able to figure what the problem is. Month after month, excruciating pain. Right now, you're going to feel just like fire, a warm sensation, and that's the end of it. I declare, be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, I think, because of your blood group, you have um, a lot of pains. Help them. The power of God is coming on that person right now. Around your joints, severe pains. In the name of Jesus, right now, the power of God is touching you. Every problem with your eye, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I decree and declare, be healed now. Any challenge with your ears, in the name of Jesus, I declare unto you, be healed now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be healed now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone who eats and throws up what you are eating. 
you are not exactly sick like your body but you eat and you just feel this irritation and then you throw it up in the name of jesus i declare to you be healed now completely set free completely set free it looks like hyenae around your groin area but it brings severe pain and it has refused to go i don't know who that is but in the name of jesus i'm declaring to you be healed right now there's someone just just around the area where you feel pain for appendicitis you've been feeling that pain this is up to two years now i'm praying for you by the power of the holy spirit be healed now supernatural healing in the name of jesus supernatural healing um my god you had a dream and it's like a dream or something from what i'm seeing and someone told you that they will put cancer on you in the name of jesus i don't know who that is i hope you know that these things you see most of these challenges are demonic in origin they really truly are i'm praying for you right now bring the lady that shouts under the anointing the power of god is coming on a lady now i'm seeing a lady not a man it's a very loud shout please bring that person i just want to prophesy over that person and rebuke this thing that i'm seeing there is something in your stomach that god wants to remove out in the name of jesus thank you jesus this is an instruction god is giving me so please just be patient with me as that anointing comes upon that person please bring the person here right now i want to pray no that's not the person the power of god is going to come upon the person i will still pray but that's not the person this one i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit i was praying and the holy spirit just interrupted me it's a very strong anointing and it's just coming on someone right now you see when you are spiritual you have to be sensitive to the holy spirit we are here responding to what he wants not what we want and if you are not sensitive you can miss out on prophetic things for people's lives praise the lord i don't know why he does these things sometimes but we just are patient please just be sensitive the power of god will come on that person Bring her. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus I decree and declare they will not tell you you have blood tubes in the name of Jesus I reject that evil report and I declare that everything that is not of the Christ in your life and in your body let it go now in the name of Jesus let it go now in the name of Jesus and now I pray for every other person whether I've mentioned your case or not I'm seeing a thermometer this is high blood pressure in the name of Jesus be free now in the name of Jesus be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that everything that is not of God planted in your body I command it to come out now in the name of Jesus I command it to come out now let me wrap up by speaking over your life now listen very carefully Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 please give it to us Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 please let's read it together and the elders of the Jews build it and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet 
and Zechariah the son of Edo, and they built it and finished it according to the commandment. Hallelujah. Now listen, I want to speak to you because the Bible lets us know that we are built up like living stones. And I want to speak over your life. They prospered through the prophesying. They prospered through the prophesying. Prophecy is powerful. And by a prophet, the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, they were preserved. The prophetic ministry has largely been abused. The prophetic ministry has been maybe tampered with. The level of character and intelligence and balance may not have been quite there. But it does not mean the prophetic ministry is not valid. It is a ministry that is valid for all generations. Praise the Lord. Can I speak over your life? Prophecy does not only reveal, it creates. It can make what has no business happening to happen. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, every closed door, Holy Ghost Christian Center, I pray for you that every door that has been closed towards you, your business and your family, I speak to that door. Be open now in the name of Jesus. Be open now in the name of Jesus. Be open now in the name of Jesus. I speak to every branch of this ministry scattered across the globe. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, and all the ministries connected to this grace, whatever has shut the door towards your influence your impact i decree and declare those doors are open now i pray first over your spiritual life whatever has closed the door to hunger genuine passion for the things of god whatever has eroded your prayer life whatever has dampened your word study life so that you no longer have the hunger and the passion for the things of God. In the name of Jesus tonight, may that door of desperation and hunger towards the things of God be opened. Listen, please hear me. When a man is not serious with God, that destiny is in trouble. I don't care what you have. I don't care what you have. I don't care what you are. If your hunger, hunger is proof of health. When people are sick, the first thing that happens is they lose appetite. I always continue to check my life. I will cancel any meeting and cancel anything at all to restore my hunger for God. My hunger for God and my passion for Him is greater than anything. Influence, name, whatever it is. Again, let me pray for you. Because you see, these are our lives. As we are busy, the vicissitudes of life, they have a way of stealing away little by little. Our hunger, you forget to pray, you forget to fast, you forget to study. You say, no problem, I will come back again. No. The heritage that we have received come from people whose hunger was sustained. In the name of Jesus, the grace for genuine passion towards the things of God, may that grace rest on your life. I pray fresh fire upon your altar. In the name of Jesus. Number two, I pray for you. Everything that closes your mind so that you are not unfruitful unto the things of righteousness, that it stops you from accessing the truth and the riches of scripture in the name of jesus i open your understanding in the name of jesus i open your understanding spiritual illumination by the power of the holy ghost number three please stretch your hands towards me your hand is a symbol of your productivity i pray in the name of jesus the grace that makes what is on your hand multiply I release that grace upon you. Holy Ghost Christian Center, I prophesy that your five loaves and two fish, I command it to feed 5,000. In the name of Jesus Christ, nothing dies in your hands. In the name of Jesus. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. 
He says, He's my son. Attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.